It seems that each year we have different trends in smartphone industry. The iPhone X started the notch trend and many Chinese phone manufacturers thought, oh, this must be cool, right? The Ukitel U18 is one of those budget phones with a notch. Besides that, it ships with pretty good specs for the price and a huge battery. My name is Linus with the Techline HD and here is my review. The prices of this phone vary from $160 all the way to $195 US, but I will update the video description with the best prices and discount codes. The phone ships with some extras like a soft TPU case and a headphone jack adapter. Besides that, you get all the usual stuff. I also have a pretty cool charger that supports Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 technology. Other two parts also provide high current charging. The charger costs about 7 bucks and I think it's worth the price. Again, all the links are down below. The notch is a cutout in the upper portion of the display in the iPhone X. I'm not going to go into details about that, but the Ukitel U18 looks like the iPhone X if you take a look just at the front of the phone. Flip the device to the back and you'll find a metal backplate with a texture top that houses a dual camera setup that I will talk a bit later in this review. Inside the notch, you can find an 8 megapixel selfie shooter. Unfortunately, the phone does not have notification LED light, which is a bummer for many users. The overall build quality is pretty good as we have a metal band that goes all around the device and responsive metal buttons. However, you can see that the phone is quite thick and a bit heavier since it packs a 4000 mAh battery inside. That notch display is actually pretty nice and sharp despite its lower resolution. In fact, this is one of the first phones to sport 21 by 9 aspect ratio, but in practice, I don't see a difference between this and 18 by 9 aspect ratio panels. I noticed just a few UI glitches in terms of the notch display when the text was cut out, but it happened only when I was setting up the phone. Overall, this notch thing is really subjective. For me, it looked weird at the beginning, but I got used to it in no time. Just like the iPhone X and some other phones, the Ukitel U18 uses face unlock feature. Surprisingly, it works quite well even if you put glasses. This unlock feature is usable, but I still prefer using the fingerprint scanner, which is usually more accurate and reliable, but as usual, the display could light up a little bit faster. There is one major design flaw. The phone is not compatible with regular USB Type-C cable connectors. That means that you need to use the supplied cable that has a longer connector than usual. There is no headset jack, but the sound quality via the supplied adapter is quite decent. As for the loudspeaker, I can't assert it's the best in its price range, but it's quite decent. As for hardware, the phone is not really exceptional as we've seen plenty of devices with this kind of specs. Nevertheless, it's a pretty good overall package for the price. If you want to play 3D games on this phone, the overall performance is actually pretty good with just a few skipped frames, but I can't really complain. However, the phone gets hot quickly, making it a little bit uncomfortable to hold in the hands while gaming. In terms of the user interface, the phone runs on Android 7.0 and it's a mixture of stock Android and a few added customizations. We have the same customization options and tweaks we've seen on many other phones, like the ability to customize the navigation bar, also there are plenty of gesture and motion controls, fingerprint gestures, and so on. In terms of speed, I found the phone to be pretty fast, there's no lag, no stutter thanks to almost stock looking Android. Even though it's still winter and I could test the camera on a cloudy day, the overall camera performance does not really impress. Pictures could have more detail and sharpness and the colors are usually washed out. Same can be said about low light camera performance, the quality could be a lot better. Selfies do not look great either as most of the pictures came out soft. Portrait mode uses software tricks to mimic a hardware bokeh effect and you can definitely see that in mediocre quality photos. 
1080p video quality is kind of poor. The same shortcomings apply as in still image quality department. Finally, I'm not really impressed with 720p selfie video and sound recording quality is not really good. TP video and this is the maximum resolution this phone can shoot videos with a front facing camera. I would rate the call quality quite well and signal reception remains strong all the time. Other connectivity options including GPS work fine. In terms of sensors, there is no gyroscope, which is a shame. In terms of battery life, there is a software bug that does not show the exact battery usage data, but I was able to use the phone for one and a half or two days. I didn't notice any battery drain issues or anything and I would say that the overall battery life is good. You can also charge the phone in just one and a half hours, which is great but only if you use a fast charger. In the box you get a regular charger that charges the phone in over two and a half hours. As I said before, you need to use the supplied cable that has a longer connector than usual. This is a serious design flaw in my opinion. The Ukitel U18's key selling point is obviously the design, whether you like the notch or not. However, there are quite a few flaws to consider. First of all, the overall camera performance is kind of disappointing. Also, you need to use the supplied cable that has a longer connector than usual. This can be a serious issue if you are traveling and you forget the cable at home. Moreover, the phone misses LED notification light, there is no fast charger in the box, no gyroscope sensor and no headset jack. On a positive note, I like the phone's great overall performance including gaming, good build quality and the fact that it ships with near stock Android. Hopefully you will find this summary of pros and cons useful while making your buying decision and let me guys know what do you think about this device. As always, drop me a comment down below if you have any questions about this phone. Please like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.